Hi, this video is going to show you how to perform some basic data analyses with the data from the Resource Manipulation Algae Lab, uh, where we're looking at how different concentrations of nitrate and phosphate impact algae growth. This is the uh, data sheet for calculations that's been posted on Blackboard. And you can see here that we have um, a table for each of the different treatments, the control treatment, a high nitrate treatment, high phosphate treatment, and if you scroll down, you'll see the high phosphate and the high nitrate combined treatment. So what your group has is going to be something that looks a little bit more like this data sheet. This is the data sheet that you use to record the absorbance of light at 600 nanometers in the sample at the different times. Um, you can see here that the data sheet has either day two or three or day four or five, and that's going to vary based on which particular lab time you start with. So there's the table that's available here that you can see that shows what day you start with and what the checks are. So for example, if your lab met on Monday, that would be day zero, and then the first check would be Wednesday at day two, and then the second check would be Friday at day four, and the final check would be Monday, which is day seven. On the other hand, if you had the Friday class, you would have come back on Monday, which is day three, Wednesday, which would have been day five, and then Friday, which is day seven. So when you look at the data sheet that you're recording in the lab, you need to change these particular values to reflect whichever day you were. We're going to assume that it was a Monday lab, and so for that, we just need to do day two and change this to reflect day four. So again, you were writing these numbers down in class, and so the first thing you're going to do is transfer the numbers from the data sheet onto the file for performing the calculations, which we have here. Because it's already in Excel, I'm just going to copy and paste. So I select all of the cells, control C to copy, come back over here to the graph, and then paste it in place. Again, so the first thing I have to do is change the table here to reflect the days. So like I said, we're assuming Monday, so uh, we checked on Wednesday, and which was the second day, and then again on Friday, which was the fourth day. At this point, we're able to, are ready to calculate the average and the standard deviations. Um, whenever we're dealing with replicates in science, we want to know what the average value was, and we also want to know something about the variation from each of the replicates. Standard deviation is a common way of measuring that. So to calculate these formulas, it's again very easy to do in Excel. So we select the cell that we want to put the average into. And once that cell is selected, we type equals the word average, open parenthesis, and then select the three cells that we want to calculate the average of. And then hit enter, and that gives us the average the formula for standard deviation that we're going to use is STDEV, so go to the cell for standard deviation, type equals STDEV, open parenthesis, and select those same three cells and hit enter. Once we have the formulas calculated, it's very easy to copy and paste the formulas over to get the calculations completed for the rest of the table. So we select the two cells. Uh, you can right-click to, to copy or do Command or Control C to copy. Select the cells we want to copy or paste into, and Control V or right-click and paste to calculate the averages and the standard deviations. Um, the errors you can ignore at this point um, because it, Excel is just letting you know that you are only calculating the average for these three cells, but there's numbers on either side, so it's just making sure that you don't um, want to be calculating more, uh, including more of the numbers and not uh, including that into the formula. But we're doing everything the way that we want right now, so we're in good shape. So now we have the average and standard deviations calculated for each of the four periods that we measured the absorbance for. The next thing that we're going to do is calculate the relative growth rate over that time period. So what we're really trying to figure out is how much did the algae change, did the concentration of algae change, from day zero to day two, from day two to day four, and day four to day seven. So the formula that we're going to use is available in the instructions that's posted on Blackboard. And you can see we're looking at this formula 
right here. So the growth rate that we want to calculate, which is called mu, this little U shape, um, is the Greek letter mu. It's equal to the natural log ln of the absorbance at the end of the time period divided by the absorbance at the start of the time period. That whole value divided by the difference in time. So the time at the end minus the time at the start. So the absorbance values, so for each period, that'll be the end. So from day zero to day two, the end point is day two, the start point is day zero. So we need to look up the absorbance for day two, divide it by the absorbance at day zero, take the natural log of that whole value, and then divide it by um, time and days. So time at the end was two, time at the start was zero, so we divide that by two. So again, it sounds fairly complicated, but is pretty easy to do in Excel. So when we come back to our spreadsheet, what we're looking at here, we have it set up for the different time periods. So time period one, time period two, and time period three. So time period one refers to the difference between day two and day four. Time period two refers to the time period between days four and uh, day two. And then three is the time period between day seven and day four. Again, depending on what day your lab meets, you may have um, this time period two might be three days or time period one might be three days. So in our example, it's two, two, and three. So to calculate the formula, we can go into the cell that we want to do the formula in and click here and type equals. Now we're going to have to do a couple of parentheses to make sure that we calculate all of the values in the order that we want. So the first thing we're going to do is open parentheses. We're going to type ln, which is natural log, and then another parenthesis to do the division. So if you remember again, it's the um, end divided by the beginning. So this cell, the absorbance at day two, divided by zero, the absorbance at, uh, sorry, the absorbance at day zero. So that gives us our division, and we have the natural log. And remember, it was the natural log of the whole thing. So we can close that parenthesis as well. And now we need to divide by the difference in time. So the slash is the divide sign for Excel, and we want to select the difference in days. So we know um, 2 minus 0 is 2, so we can just type that in. So 2 there. And this gives us our growth rate for that time period. We can do copy and paste again. We can copy um, this particular cell and paste it down, and we get our calculations for um, each of the replicates. So in the first replicate, it grew at a rate of 0.64, the second replicate was 0.49, and the third replicate was 0.71. We can do the same thing for the formulas here, and in this case I'm going to type them in individually because we have the different growth rate periods. So equals, open parenthesis, natural log, ln, open parenthesis, and we have the observance at day four, divided by the absorbance at day two, close parenthesis for the division, close parenthesis for the natural log, divided by, and our time period again, four minus two is two, so divided by two. And then we'll do the last one, so this is equals, open parenthesis, natural log, open parenthesis, absorbance at day seven, divided by absorbance at day four, close parenthesis for division, close parenthesis for natural log, divided by the difference in time, and now the time period is actually three. Seven minus four is three. So we have our different time periods here. We can copy, control C, paste them down, and this gives us our growth rates for the different replicates individually over these different time periods. Same thing, whenever we have different values, we want to see average and standard deviation. We can copy this formula over to the correct cells, control V to paste, and now we have our relative growth rates as well. So you can see the average growth rate for the first time period was 0.61, the average growth rate for the second time period is 0.78, and the growth rate for the third period on average is 0.4. Once you've completed this for your own um, treatment, you need to make sure to get the data for the other treatments from the other groups in the class. So you can either um, just get their data sheet and enter the numbers in directly, or you can ask them for their Excel file. So I'm going to, first of all, copy the days so that we have this correct through the entire data sheet. 
And I'll scroll down further to show the high nitrate and phosphate increase there. And I'm going to just go ahead and enter the numbers in um, automatically and then come back to show the calculations of average and standard deviation. Now that we have all the numbers entered for the different treatments, we can see where Excel really shines and makes our life a lot easier. Because the data tables are set up in the same format, we can actually copy and paste all of the formulas down to get the calculations completed. So if we start first by calculating, copying and pasting the average and standard deviations, we can actually select all eight cells, control C to copy, come down to this first data table, control V to paste, and now it's done all the calculations automatically for us. Same thing down to the high phosphate, control V, everything's calculated, come down to the high nitrate and phosphate, control V, everything's calculated for us. So very quick, we don't have to do any extra typing of formulas in this case. We can do the same thing with the growth rates. All the period, time periods are the same, so we can actually copy this entire block of 15 cells, control C to copy, come down to a high nitrate, B to paste, control V to paste, and control V to paste. So now we've done all of our calculations that are necessary. Um, once the numbers are entered into Excel and the first formulas are typed in, once this first data table is complete, the rest of this becomes very easy. Now, if you're in a uh, section that has more treatments, we need to insert an extra um, table in here so you can include those data. The easy way to do that is if you come over to where the numbers are showing the rows, you can click and select the entire data table Control C or right click to copy, and then we can come down uh, to the line right below it, right click, and we want to do is insert copied cells. When we do that, Excel will automatically shift the other information down for us. So now we can look down and see that it's copied all these numbers down correctly. Um, obviously, these are the wrong numbers, so we want to replace this with whatever the different treatment is. So I'm going to assume that we actually are looking at a high nitrate only treatment, and I'll copy those numbers in. Okay, those numbers are calculated in. It's high nitrate. I'm going to call this high nitrate uh, 2 to show the difference between this particular high nitrate treatment and this particular high nitrate treatment. So this is high nitrate treatment number 1. So this is it for the calculations. To do the graphs, what we're going to do if we keep scrolling down is we need to calculate the averages and we need to calculate this, copy the standard deviations down. So we'll do that and then meet up on the second video to show you how to do the graphs of these different um, values.